Day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino. We're drinking a beer that was sent to me by the one and only Jordan from Reviewing Under Influence. So thank you very much Jordan. Again, we'll get something out to you in the next few days. This is recorded the day after the beer mail showed up. Uh, this is from Belgium. It is Rodenbach. It is Rodenbach Classic. It is 5.2% alcohol by volume. And yeah, it says it's aged in oak vats. Ingredients, uh, water, barley, malt, hops, corn, no yeast, <laughs> some, some countries make you say yeast, some countries don't, uh, there you go, obviously a big import beer because beer is written in uh, a lot of languages. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 10 different languages saying beer on here, so the big export, obviously. So we want to save the bar because that is not on my fridge. There we go. Frank, get out of there. Woo. That is one pretty beer. I mean, seriously, that is a pretty beer. It's hard to get a light on it because we're actually during the day for the first time, so these fluorescents aren't the best. But um, a nice amber, a little mahogany brown. Amber up here, more, more brownie down at the bottom. Beautiful looking beer. Nice head. Let's see if we can create any more. It's a little bit of a off-white mocha head. Yeah, that's nice. No real snap, crackle, pop. Mmm, smells, um... It smells like a... Flanders Red, in all honesty. I was told this is the classic, but it really does smell like a Flanders Red. Um, Best Buy 03-10-2015. Yeah, it just has that uh, sour apple and uh, sour apple and sour uh, sour cherry scent. A little bit of vanilla, lots and lots of malt. Mm, let's try it. Cheers. Yeah, it really has that Flanders red quality to it. A nice malt build. A very nice malt build. Creamy, caramelly. Up to the forefront. And then you get a beautiful, like, cherry, raspberry, apple flavor. And it just, that just fades into a slight tartness, which then fades to nothing. That nothing comes back with a slight touch of roast as you're sitting there. And a slight touch of caramel again. But really, it's it's almost full on clean at the end. This is this is sessionable. This is like throw it down your gullet beer, and it's not cold at all. It's been um, I'm sitting right here beside the empty keg since uh, I opened the beer mail in front of that computer there. So it's just been sitting on my floor in the basement. Um, it did get cold last night. It got down to like plus one last night. So um, the basement floor was probably a little cool. But, uh, yeah, interesting beer, very interesting beer. Very good beer, I wish I could get this here. Um, Ro Rodenbach you can get at the beer store, but only in kegs. Now that I've drank it, I know I could put a keg back of it. But I don't know if I'd want to um, spend that kind of money on a keg. When I can get a 20 liter of something, when I can get a 20 liter of something local for a hundred bucks. I don't know if I'd want to spend three, four hundred dollars on a on a thirty or thirty to fifty liter of something like this. Um, but 
but I'll easily give that an 8 out of 10. Not because it's, oh my god, amazingly tasty, but it has everything I look for in this style of beer. I don't even know if this is a Flanders Red or not, but it just screams Flanders Red to me. It's just not as sour, but everything else just screams that to me. But, um... I really looked up nothing on the beer. I just uh, picked up the bottle. Um, yeah, if I could get bottles of this here in Ontario, and if it was the same price range as say the, uh, it was the same price range as the stuff from from Rochefort, so in the like uh, under four dollars range, I'd buy shitloads of this stuff. Uh, yeah, 8 out of 10 for me. Thank you very much, Jordan. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.